哇，佢真係當呢只煲煲當寶咁啊！咁所以呢，就用個用個板板咁遮鬼住佢。仲有其他屋屋嘅，不過佢唔再介紹啦。但有好多唔同嘅花花農場咁啊，咁都仲可以睇嘅。哇！呢、這個博物館太多太多嘢睇啦，淨係一個博物館已經咁變態。我哋而家都已經就係十二點。我哋淨係去到六點嘅，係呢度好多呢啲咁嘅草屋啊！哇，間間都係呢啲，擺草喺度，係咯，加拿大而家好多屋都有草，合法啊，好正嗰間屋。大門啲喎。Um, this uh, farm, as I said, is from uh, a place called Sjæfestal, which is a very steep valley. So most of the farms would be on the hillside, and you can see that the houses are in two rows facing each other. So you call it a row farm. And you have the people's houses on this side, would be uh, which would be on the top. Then the animals' houses on this side, and then the fields below that again, closer to the river, to get more water to the fields. And also to make it easier for the farmers to take uh, the uh, oh, what's the word uh, the fertilizer from the animals directly onto the fields. And this is also a double-breasted farm, uh, which means that there are two of each house at the farm. And this was quite common in Sjæfestal because as the population grew. Uh, there wasn't enough land for every family, oh, yeah. so they would split the farm, like and two yeah. families, or sometimes even more, would be sharing the same farmyard. Oh. And uh, the houses, the the lower the houses here, uh, is where the people would live, and then oh, these taller the houses uh, are called lofts and are storage buildings. Oh, uh, on the oh, lower yeah. floor, they would keep uh, the food. On the upper floor, they would keep. Clothes and um, uh, tools and other things they would use at the farm. Oh. And oh, yeah. usually, oh, the, the, be, uh, the most decorated house at the farm oh. because in the summer guests would also uh, sleep there. Not in the winter because it wasn't heated. Uh, but then to honor the guests, uh, the loft would be uh, the most beautiful building. Oh. And if you look at this loft in particular, you can see that it has some quite massive logs. And this tells us two things. Oh, it means that it has belonged to a pretty wealthy farmer. Uh -huh. Being wealthy in Setstal didn't necessarily mean having money, but it meant owning a lot of land. So the farmer could take the best timber for himself and then oh. sell off the rest. It also tells us a little bit about when it was built. So any house with timber of that size has probably been built in the 17th or 18th century. And that is because after the Black Plague came to Norway in the 14th century, uh, over half of the population in the country died. So a lot of farms were left empty. So when somebody needed a new farm, they wouldn't build a new farm. They would just move into a farm that has been uh, left. Oh. And that means that for about three centuries, hardly any new houses were built in Norway. Oh, wow. So the woods had a lot of time to go really, really really big. And so when they started building again in uh, the 17th century, they had a lot of really big trees to take from. And uh, then I got a question about the roofs, uh, which have grass growing on them. Oh yeah. And this is called turf roofs, and it's a very easy and cheap way to build high quality roofs. Uh, at the bottom there's up to 16 layers of birch bark to keep them waterproof and then there's two layers of turf on top of that to keep the bark in place and also for insulation and keeping the houses warm. And if you've done a good job with a roof like this it can last up to a hundred years wow. without having to be renewed. So uh, quite cheap because you could only dig up some turf from the ground and oh. put on top. Uh, but then still high quality. I see. Yes. Would they use a roof to grow something on it? Uh, no, it would uh, not be useful. Oh. 
uh, in the end of the farmyard you can see that there's another small house you can just about make out that there's some stones in there uh -huh. uh, that is a sauna so they would have a, a small fire inside that um, uh, lump of rock which then would uh, work as an oven Oh, and that oh. is where they would take their bath mm -hmm. until the 16th century that is because after the reformation and Norway became a Protestant country the church said no more bathing in huh? the sauna naked men and women together we do not want that <laughs> oh. so, uh, from the 16th century uh, sauna bathing was actually prohibited in Norway uh, yeah. but uh, the people in Sætestal they didn't Total always omja. have Achmas much respect for the church oh, yeah. as the priest yeah, would have wanted. Mm -hmm. So yeah. in Sætestal they continued to use the sauna yeah. more than they did in other parts of the country. <coughs> but then uh, the saunas would quite often also go from being a place where people took their bath to being a place where they would dry cereals and meat. So oh. even if they didn't use it the way they had always done then it was still used for something. I see, I see. Um, I think that is all I have to say. My time is certainly up, but are there any questions before I leave you? Yes. How do they do the maintenance? Uh, do they have to... I guess they won't water it, right? Uh, no, so there wasn't a, a, a big point of having grass growing there. That was just more... That's what happened when you oh, take... Oh, okay, uh, I see, I see. So it's not the purpose? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, I see. So you, okay. Can, uh, <laughs> you can easily have a... A turf roof uh, without their really I see, I see. Them. Okay. How Thank do you get that much birch bark? You said 16 layers. I just can't imagine how it is nice to get it out. Of the uh, tree. Yeah, so uh, there are a lot of birch uh, trees in Norway. Yes. Uh, so they would use the birch usually for firewood and then uh, they could take just the bark and then use the rest of uh, the tree for, for fire. Interesting.